الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم إن شاء الله today our lecture is about the OTC medications that used for pain and fever over the counter analgesics and antibiotics relieve smile to moderate pain and reduce inflammation and fever they are effective for somatic pain uh, such as uh, musculoskeletal pain, headache, dysmenorrhea, uh, back pain, whatever, musculoskeletal pain. But they are not effective in reducing discomfort that result from visceral pain such as stomach, uh, lung and heart and visceral pain such as a cancer pain or ischemic heart disease or angina or myocardial infarction uh, in which uh, other lower opioids central acting are effective for that uh, visceral pain uh, if we talk about the pathogenesis of the pain uh, we find that uh, when an intensive stimuli such as mechanical or thermal or uh, chemical stimuli lead to tissue damage and this uh, tissue damage will result in the release of substances such as the prostaglandins that synthesize the pain receptors uh, uh, then the, way, uh, the pain receptor responds by sending an afferent signal uh, impulses over the afferent nerve fiber to the central nervous system then the central nervous system will uh, aware the pain and the awareness of the pain occur in the thalamus while the recognition and localization of the pain occur in the cortex the sense uh, that there is the pain this uh, is synthesized or recognized uh, by the thalamus while the localization of the pain is it in the back or in the leg or in the hand or whatever this is known by the uh, cortex <coughs> uh, currently available oral OTC analgesics include uh, acetaminophen and this is according to uh, USP pharmacopoeia which uh, have another name uh, called uh, Barstamol by British pharmacopoeia the ibuprofen uh, nabroxen and the salicylate, salicylate available as aspirin, double salicylic acid, uh, magnesium salicylate, and sodium salicylate. Well, these four drugs are uh, av who are available as OTC uh, analgesics and anti inflammatory. This is approved according to the FDA. They are only, also, we find more than 30 non steroid anti inflammatory drugs. We only find this three, I mean, uh, except the acetaminophen, but some more is not, uh, not belonging to non steroid anti inflammatory drugs, like in ibuprofen, nabroxin, salicylate, belong to non steroid anti inflammatory drugs. Only these three drugs are approved beside acetaminophen by the FDA as O2C medication. Also, we find more than 30 drugs that used uh, clinically and in the practice uh, as non-steroid anti inflammatory drugs including uh, ketoprofen, uh, diclofenac sodium, diclofenac potassium, uh, ditudlac, uh, biroxicam, tenoxicam, uh, a lot of mevanamic acid, uh, a lot of drugs, uh, other uh, OTC, uh, other, sorry, uh, other non-steroid anti inflammatory drugs uh, which are commonly used uh, in practice and in clinical uh, practice used for treatment of pain uh, uh, and uh, inflammation. O2C analgesics are available uh, in many pharmaceutical dosage forms including tablet, capsule, gel caps, powders, creams, ointments, booster sprays and batches. Uh, topical O2C analgesics include we have a menthol and a camphor and a capsaicin uh, this is beside the uh, trolamine uh, salicylate. The three substances and menthol will come for a capsaicin, uh, which you are, you are already come on uh, in the file by chemistry and pharmacognosy, are natural occurring uh, organic substances, plant consi active constituents. Uh, they are effective uh, as analgesics and uh, used topically and available as O2C uh, medication to relieve a mild and moderate. Pain. 
this is a main soil in form of a rock or ointment that uh, tend to be massaged or uh, uh, used by topically or uh, capsaicin or camphor and beside also trolamine salicylate. The mechanism of action of a uh, nanosteroid uh, beside the paracetamol, nanosteroid anti-inflammatory drugs, uh, as you know in the pharmacology, they act uh, centrally and peripherally, both or both, uh, by inhibiting the biosynthesis of uh, prostaglandins uh, through an inhibition beta, uh, through inhibition of uh, cyclooxygenase, a enzyme. And as you know in the pharmacology, there are three isotypes of this uh, COX enzyme, COX-1 and COX-3, uh, COX-2 and COX-3. Uh, they are uh, through, inhibiting, uh, through inhibition of this uh, cyclooxygenase uh, enzyme, they inhibit the biosynthesis of uh, inflammatory B and B mediators, the prostaglandins and leukotrienes. Uh, because uh, they are synthesized from uh, racetonic acid through this uh, enzyme, no cox uh, cyclo uh, oxygenase. Uh, we have uh, first paracetamol uh, according to the British Pharmacopoeia and acetaminophen according to the uh, United States Pharmacopoeia. Uh, available as a very as a various pharmaceutical dosage forms, including uh, infusion tablets, uh, 500 milligram. Uh, syrup, elixir, substrates, and drops. Substrates are available uh, in two concentrations, uh, 125 and 250 mg. Uh, Burstamol uh, has analgesic and antibiotic action, but minimum anti inflammatory activity, uh, so that uh, does not uh, use uh, for treatment of uh, rheumatic arthritis. The, ma the maximum daily dose of uh, adult for paracetamol is uh, 4 gram per day. Uh, chronic daily ingestion of uh, 5 gram or more can lead to liver damage due to the hepatotoxicity that caused by the paracetamol uh, derivatives result from the metabolism. The hepatotoxicity of uh, paracetamol occurs when the normal conjugation reactions are saturated. Uh, causing the drug to be metabolized by a mixed fraction oxidases. This results in a toxic metabolite called n acetyl para benzoquinone amine or type. Normally, a barastamol metabolized <coughs> by conjugation, but if the dose exceeds 5 grams per day, uh, all of the conjugation side will be saturated so that the excess paracetamol will be metabolized by a mixed function oxidase and this result in a toxic metabolite which we call an acetyl para benzoquinone amine uh, this metabolite is a toxic for a hepatocyte lead to the destruction of the hepatocyte so that an overdose of the paracetamol or the toxicity of the paracetamol will result mainly in a hepatocyte Toxicity. <coughs> the adverse effects of albarstamol uh, with large doses can cause dizziness, excitement, and disorientation. Uh, ingestion of 15 mg of acetaminophen may be fatal, uh, death being caused by, by severe hepatotoxicity due to the depletion of glutathione, which is a natural occurring antioxidant that lead to the neutralization of the n style barak benzoquinone amine derivative, derivative the toxic metabolite normally uh, metabolized or normally neutralized by a natural occurring glutathione so that in case of overdosage uh, they excel uh, all, all, all available natural occurring glutathione will be depleted leading to the that the toxic metabolite affect the hepatocyte leading to the necrosis of the uh, well, damage to the hepatocyte besides also can result in acute renal tubular uh, necrosis patients with hepatic disease and, the vi and viral hepatitis uh, or a history of alcoholism are at a higher risk for acetaminophen induced hepatotoxicity 
because all of these chronic alcoholism or liver hepatitis or other hepatic disease can also affect hepatocyte functions so that in case of this is a uh, in case of uh, acetaminophen overdosing these persons with these uh, conditions will result in higher risk for hepatic uh, induced toxicity due to the acetaminophen uh, overdosage the initial symptoms of acute paracetamol toxicity are nausea and vomiting. Uh, Hepatotoxicity uh, occurs uh, 25, uh, 24 to 48 hours later. Uh, treatment by gastric lavage. I can. Uh, this is, you will talk. Uh, you already talked uh, in uh, toxicology. Followed by oral activated uh, charcoal. The liver damage can be prevented by giving agents. So what we have is specific antidote. For albarstamol overdose or over albarstamol toxicity, as you know, albarstamol material availability tattoo, uh, who are, who are one of the drugs that can cause the common toxic syndromes. Material availability tattoo, who are over the counter medication in everywhere, every house you can find albarstamol, so that its toxicity uh, commonly occur in practice. Uh, as we mentioned. Uh, there is specific antidote for paracetamol uh, overdose. We have uh, an acetyl cysteine IV or methionine. Both of these substances, either IV, acetyl cysteine, or methionine orally, tend to increase the level of a naturally uh, occurring alahua glutathione, so that which can neutralize uh, the toxic metabolite that result from the metabolism of albarsamol through a mixed function uh, oxidase. Uh, drug interactions that occur with albarsamol, albarsamol may competitively inhibit the metabolism of zidovudine, the whole antiviral, resulting in zidovudine or albarsamol toxicity. Both of them can tend to increase uh, each other due to the, their inhibition, uh, due to the uh, competitive inhibition of the uh, enzymes that are responsible for their metabolism. Uh, the trade names of paracetamol, uh, we have a Benadol, the brand name, uh, Cetamol, uh, local company. Uh, Alteramol, Amidol, Mepharma, Adol, Jalfar, uh, Elidol, uh, Elifar, uh, Eli, and Tylenol. Uh, uh, these are uh, one of the more, more of one of the common trade names that are available for uh, paracetamol or acetaminophen. Uh, this is paracetamol tablet, uh, also available as Sabusteris uh, Ekestra. Barstamol, uh, 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 barstamol, uh, 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 that including uh, the caffeine, and uh, caffeine is known to stimulate and enhance the effect of uh, the analgesic, some of the analgesic drugs, including barstamol uh, and ibuprofen. Uh, well, this is the Tylenol, uh, and uh, this is an infusion. Barstamol also occur uh, in the form of uh, drops for infants, in the form of drops for uh, infants. We have the second O2C drug and one of the and the first one of the non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs. We have acetylic acid, which is known as aspirin. Uh, it's available in different. Uh, the, 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 it's available as tablet mainly. Tablet also salicylate occur as ointment or gel. Uh, tablet. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, acetic acid tablet, aspirin tablet, occur in different uh, concentration: uh, 75 milligram, uh, 81 milligram, 100 milligram, and 300 milligram. Uh, the acetic acid, uh, acid mainly act as analgesic, also having antibiotic effect and anti-inflammatory effect, and it's unique in. The fourth uh, indication who can be used for as anticoagulant, used for patients with a myocardial infarction, angina, hypertension, or diabetes, as prophylactic uh, treatment uh, to increase the uh, how to have how to produce how to provide with uh, anticoagulant effect because all of these are uh, at risk for coagulation due to uh, serous sclerosis. Uh, that result from these chronic uh, conditions or chronic uh, disorders. 
الاسبرين هو اولي اكت از انتي كواجولانت ان سمول دوزز اللي هو في 75 ملي جرام او 81 او تل 100 ملي جرام but uh, in case of large doses 300 mg it's uh, only have anti inflammatory effect and, and beside the analgesic and antibiotic effect but uh, have having an anticoagulant effect at a large doses this is because uh, the anti uh, the anti action of the aspirin uh, which is uh, revered to that it is irreversible it inhibit the formation of acetylmoxine A2 at small doses uh, and we know that stromoxane A2 from a platelet tend to stimulate a platelet aggregation but reversibly inhibit the prostacycline or prostaglandin I2 which uh, come from an endothelium uh, which is uh, an, an aggregation inhibitor in, in the blood so that the balance between uh, stromoxane A2 and prostaglandin uh, I2 in small doses will be shifted uh, towards who increase the activity of the prostacycline and here anticoagulant effect. This is due to that the aspirin at small doses can irreversibly inhibit the formation of cerebroxane A2. This is due to that the platelet which uh, a neck uh, here uh, platelet having uh, a nuclear uh, nucleus so that cannot uh, replicate so that the platelet its lifespan is seven days uh, since size from the bone marrow uh, in the bloodstream uh, their uh, their life span is seven days uh, the activity of uh, platelet then tend to uh, uh, return back due, uh, due to the senses of a new platelets from the uh, bone marrow while in deucelium in a low dose uh, uh, its effect is reversible reversible due to the low doses of an aspirin because the prostacycline, prostaglandin I2 uh, is incised from an endothelium. Uh, while if we use uh, aspirin in a large doses, so, uh, 300 milligram per day or three times a day, as in case of uh, rheumatic arthritis, as anti inflammatory, this will inhibit both irreversible inhibit the prostacycline and astromboxane A2. So that, so that inhibit both of uh, the, the agents that having anticoagulant effect and the agents that having the, the coagulant uh, action. So the balance will be uh, uh, maintained because uh, the inhibition is for post agents irreversible. But in, in, in low doses, it only can affect stromboxane uh, A2 from uh, blood plate. So we will find uh, that aspirin in a low dose having the anticoagulant uh, effect. Aspirin is contraindicated in patients with bleeding disorders, uh, peptic ulcer, and in children with viral illness because it can cause these uh, Reese syndromes. Well, Reese syndrome is a fatty liver degeneration with encephal accompanied with encephalopathy. Uh, this can occur in infant or in children that are suffering from viral infection if they are taken uh, salicylate such as aspirin can result in this syndrome so that aspirin is contraindicated for uh, for the child for the child uh, or for the children so that you will not find uh, aspirin or acetic acid uh, in a form of syrup or suspension because it's mainly contraindicated or uh, in children especially that suffering from a viral uh, illness due to the possibility of the development for Reis syndrome. Chronic high doses uh, in the last trimester of pregnancy can produce potential bleeding problems or complicating the uh, complicating and prolong the delivery. So that it is better to prefer uh, to avoid the aspirin uh, during the last trimester to avoid the complication of a delivery uh, to avoid the bleeding and uh, complication of the delivery. Trade names for aspirin: the famous acetic acid is famous with aspirin. We have asbicima, asbicot, ilibrin. 
this is aspirin from Bayer uh, multinational company uh, this is Asbicot we have the, uh, the, the shared OTC uh, analgesic drugs who are Nabroxin Nabroxin is available as tablet and capsule tablet available in a concentration of 250 mg and 500 mg also in uh, 255 mg and 550 mg uh, the concentration uh, as I mentioned before if you remember in the first semester, uh, the first semester uh, are very important because if there is a uh, miswriting uh, or uh, confusing handwriting for the prescription by knowing the concentration can you can identify uh, the who intended uh, the prescribed agent according to its concentration because different drugs due to their different potency are available in different uh, concentration including some of uh, in micrograms of uh, some some of drugs available uh, in, uh, in uh, point point milligram one milligram five milligram uh, till uh, five hundred milligram three names of nabroxen we have uh, arsuvien and we have albroxidol uh, this is a uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, this is an example of the trade names that are available for your community pharmacies. Uh, Broxidol, may, uh, in many dosage forms, especially the tablet, you will find uh, the letters DS. DS means double strength. Double strength, such in this uh, tablet, Broxidol, DS means Broxidol 500 uh, milligram. 500 milligram because this is double strength the normal dose uh, here to uh, 250 uh, 500 uh, milligram uh, called this we have the fourth drug that uh, available as O2C an analgesic anti-inflammatory drug we have an ibuprofen an ibuprofen available uh, available as syrup and tablet uh, syrup uh, tablet 200 milligram 400 milligram 600 milligram and 800 milligram uh, the ibuprofen is contraindicated in patient with breathing disorders and peptic ulcer ibuprofen can potentiate the effect of anticoagulants and thrombolytic agents so that who contraindicated for bleeding disorder and peptic ulcer because can potentiate the effect of this anticoagulant and can lead to active bleeding in case of peptic ulcer and bleeding disorders. The ibuprofen also can potentiate the effect of hypoglycemic agents, so it should be used cautiously uh, in patients with uh, diabetes, especially type 1, who use uh, oral hypoglycemic agents such as sulfonyl ureas. Uh, the caffeine enhances uh, their, uh, their analgesic effects who are mainly like ibuprofen uh, also can enhance the paracetamol effects the caffeine uh, ibuprofen available uh, in the trade names uh, ibuprofen, amipharma, ibuprofen, ili and brofina is a gelfar and brofin is a brand name uh, We have uh, now with, uh, in the coming slides, we'll talk about uh, the common non steroid anti inflammatory drugs, although um, uh, my approved according to the FDA as O2C medication. This is an important note, including starting from alketoprofen. These are not O2C uh, medication and uh, not O2C uh, analgesic anti inflammatory drugs. But they are commonly used uh, in practice. Yeah, should be only uh, low prescription only medicines, including uh, the ketoprofen. Ketoprofen available as tablet for 50 uh, milligram, and also as a gel. Who are used commonly in practice? Ketoprofen used uh, for tooth pain and dysmenorrhea. Uh, trade names uh, we have a ketofan, a ketofen, and a fast gel. Uh, this is uh, ketoprofen. 
هو واضح انه هو ديريفاتيف للايبوبروفين وي هاف الميفينيك اسيد افيلابل از سيرم اند تابلت 250 ملي جرام او 500 ملي جرام يوز فور توث بين اولسو اند ديسمنريا كومنلي كده مينلي ذا دينتست يوز تو رايت ذيس ايبوبروفين اور ميفينيك اسيد ان ذير بريسكريبشن سبوسايد لاموكسيلين اند ميتريدازول Trade names of the mevenic acid we have: Alfindol, Mevenac, Bonistan. Bonistan is a brand name of Pfizer, multinational company, one of the big country, big companies. We have the Mavipin and the Minabon. All of these are brand are trade names for mevenic acid. We have the Bonistan. And this is a mefenac, and this is a findol, and also the findol this means mefenamic acid 500 milligram. We have uh, endomesazine, endomesazine also non steroid anti drug, available as capsule uh, 25 milligram, also available uh, as substitutes uh, 100 milligram, and available as gel. It is a drug of choice for treatment of acute gout arthritis, uh, mainly who are very effective for acute gout uh, arthritis. Trade names including uh, Lindumine, Alindurine, Indusit, Amimisazine, Mifarma, and Bonidone, Meva. Uh, Indusit, uh, 25 milligram, Indumisazine, uh, this is Substeris, Indumine, Substeris, and this is Bonidone. Gel, demisazine gel. We have the Broxicam. Broxicam also available as tablet and capsule, 10 milligram and 20 milligram. Also as gel. Trade names we have Fildin. Fildin. This is a Pfizer Broxicam, 20 milligram. We have Rosidin, DMC, and we have Sotilen and Birox. All of these are trade names for Broxicam. We have tenoxicam, tenoxicam available as capsule and injection, uh, both of capsule and injection are in uh, one concentration, 200 milligram, uh, sorry, 20 milligram. Trade names of uh, tenoxicam we have tilcotil and balitonex. We have uh, meroxicam available as tablet, 7.5 milligram and 15 milligram. Uh, meroxicam who are selective COX-2 inhibitor. Well, selective COX-2 inhibitors, although it is, uh, does not affect the uh, cytoprotective effect of the COX-1, the cytoprotective in the uh, gastric mucosa, and it less tend to cause peptic ulcer and chronic use of the non-steroid anti-inflammatory ulcer because affecting the cytoprotective mechanism of the prostaglandins in the uh, uh, gastric mucosa. فبالتالي الكرونيك يوز بتاع ناني سواي انتي فلامات الرقص هو بيعمل لي بيبتي قاصة سيوريتيكالي معناها الميلوكسيكام سيلكتيف كوكس 2 هو less prone to produce بيبتي قاصة اوضو الان الدراسات الان اللي قلت انه عندهم serious adverse effects cardiovascular renal adverse effects associated with the selective cox 2 inhibitors such as the meloxicam ممكن استخدام مقلة نتيجة لـ for this reason we have a trade name, we have the Mobic, Moven, or Mobitil, Melonax, and Selectin. These are trade names for Meloxicam. We have a famous non-steroid anti-filamentary drug, and the famous drug that used to be written or prescribed by house officers in the uh, hospitals, teaching hospitals, uh, diclofenac sodium uh, available as tablet uh, 25 milligram, 50 milligram, uh, 75 milligram, and 100 milligram uh, in uh, a form of tablet or capsule. Uh, this tablet or capsule sometimes you will find R, which uh, uh, refer to this retard, retard dosage form, or SR, which means sustain release dosage form that formulated to provide a long extended uh, effect uh, due to the extended uh, release uh, in the plasma. 
Also, the hypermax sodium available as injection, who are in a one concentration, uh, 75 milligram, that uh, available in 3 mil. Also, in gel, and also available as subsidies, uh, 12.5 milligram. Trade names of the hypermax sodium we have a Voltarine and an Olfin, Vortex, Tax, Amifinac, Ibofinac and we have a Remifan. A lot of trade names uh, available in our local uh, market uh, available for the Coprax sodium uh, such as this is an Olfin SR sustained release capsule uh, also subsidies okay that's subsidies Voltarine gel uh, Voltarine retard R 100 milligram this Voltarine A uh, sustained release 75 milligram Remisan R Vortex 25 milligram and a lot of trade names uh, are available for this uh, generic name Luho Dicovnac sodium. We have a Dicovnac potassium. Dicovnac potassium available as uh, tablet 500 milligram. Oh, trade names we have a Cataflam, uh, Novartis Cataflam. Uh, we have a Maxit and uh, Dicofnac potassium. These are trade names for Dicofnac. This is from my pharmacy, community pharmacy in uh, 2007, uh, in which uh, the strip uh, of Almagzit only cost four uh, pounds, four or five pounds. So, the street can be four pounds in 2007. Alan, I don't know. Uh, we have uh, the last one we have a little duck, it's luck available as capsule 200 milligram. Uh, we have one in our, our local market, we have an, one example Nabilac trade name uh, for little duck, one is right anti inflammatory drugs. Let us carry it on in Maratania, we know who should be available by prescription except the fourth, the very fourth one. Lohumma, Alparastamol, Alaspirin, Salicylic Acid, Nabroxin, and Ibuprofen. Only these four agents are available or approved by the FDA as an O2C analgesic anti inflammatory drugs. I think that is all. Uh, thank you for your uh, listening. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته